we are going to go ahead and do some important questions related to set theory. Let's see a few of the questions. So the first question is the following. Which of the following is an empty set? And the options given to you are x such that x is a real number and x square minus 1 is equal to 0. Second, x such that x is a real number and x square plus 1 is equal to 0. Third, x such that x is a real number and x square minus 9 is equal to 0. And last, x such that x is a real number and x square is equal to x plus 2. Just try this question once, then we will see. What should be the answer for this one? So which of the following is an empty set? Which means no element belongs to that set. Now let's go ahead and solve this. So my claim is that the answer to this question is B. Why? Because we know that if we go ahead and take x square plus 1 equal to 0, then this means that x square is equal to minus 1. If x square is minus 1, then this is basically going to give a value of x, which is a complex number in iota. But x is a real number. If x is a real number, then what are real number? Real number consists of natural number. Combined with zero to give you whole numbers. Combined with negative numbers to give you integers. Combined with fraction to give you rational numbers. And irrational numbers. This together is the set of your real numbers. But your real number does not consist of the uh, complex numbers, right? So, because it does not consist of complex number, therefore, we do not have any value of x that will be a real number and satisfy this equation. So the answer to this is B. Let's take the next one. Now, the next question is the following. What is the cardinality of the set of odd these are very simple questions to begin with. Positive integers less than 10. So the question that I'm asking is about cardinality and the options are 10, 5, 3, 20. Now cardinality just means the number of elements in the particular set. So what are the positive integers less than 10? We all know that. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So we have the cardinality as 5. There are 5 positive integers less than 10. So the answer is simply 5. Now, third question. Consider the following relations. To 
this is given as a minus b is equal is equal to a minus a intersection b a is equal to a intersection b union a minus b a minus b in union c is equal to a minus b union a minus c and the question is asking which of these is r correct and the options given to you are one and two one and three three only two and So let's see this. See A minus B. If I have this as A and I have this as B, then A minus B is A without B, this part. And if we go ahead and take the other part, A minus A intersection B. So this is A and B. A intersection B is this much. If you subtract this from A, you will be left up with this. So this is for sure correct. This is correct that both of them are giving you the same shaded area. So one for sure is correct. Now let's go ahead and look at the second one. So A is equal to. So this says, let's take this as A, B. Again, I will take A, B. Okay, so I just have to take this side. A intersection B is going to be this. And A minus B, I know is this. And since I'm finding the union between the two, it is giving me complete A. So the, this is also correct. Now let's look at the third one. A minus B union C. So I have three now. So what I will do is I will formulate three. A minus B union C. So B union C is this entire shape. And when you subtract this from A, because it is A minus B union C, you will be left up with this. This is the shaded area that you are left up with. Once you subtract this from A. Is equal to A minus B union A minus C. So if you find, take another one. This is A, B, C. A minus B is this. Only subtracting A minus B. And A minus C is this. This, you know, I'll mark it with a darker color. So this one, A minus C. So you find the union of the two, A minus B and A. A minus C, I will be left up with everything except the intersection of the three. This entire will come except that small shaded area. But these two are not equal, right? They're not equal. So this is wrong. So the answer is A. Let's take the next question. 